Hello everybody and welcome back to the survivors part of KKND. I'm SegaFan1986. Right, now this is a fill-in video, <coughs> or should I say a redoing of Rescue the Commander, I believe. Because the original video that I made of this mission and the original video of the next vis uh, mission have got me using a stupid voice. Um, basically, my count, uh, my count. I don't know what a count is. If you know, please let me know. My sound card was set to Alien Brute Voice Modulator, and um, yeah, you can guess how that went. Trouble with the next mission is it was by far the hardest mission of this game, and it took a long time to um i say a long time it took about f four, four tries um to actually beat it so and many hours um so i'm kind of going to leave the next video as is maybe you'll get a laugh out of it i thought it was equally hilarious and equal parts annoying but anyway this one is a relatively easy mission, only about half an hour long, something like that. Uh, so I thought I'd quickly redo this because there's no worse uploading two videos like it. One, I can just about do. If people find it too annoying, then of course I will go back and try and do it again. But anyway, let's go rescue the commander. You're a good commander, commander. And my surround sound's echoing. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. So first thing we want to do is select our dudes and send them this way. And we should find a rather handy bunker. There's actually two bunkers to find in this mission. There we go. Now this one has a beast in it. This is a sentinel droid and it appears to be incredibly powerful it's kind of the same thing um, similar thing t to the mech that the mutants get it has the same kind of laser cannon and it fires two blasts but it doesn't fire the missile however it does seem to have a crazy long range which we will be making the most of and now over here we have our command post which I was quite surprised to see and we have a limited amount of money but like I said earlier there is actually another bunker over here we want to stay away from that grape shop tower but this one contains cash there we go now what we're going to do with that cash I assume you use it to buy, uh, build soldiers but we're not going to do that <coughs> I'm going to build a power station and then everybody else is going to rush that thing Come on, let's keep it busy. Keep it busy. I don't mind losing this. Get in there, lads. I guess that could have gone better, but never mind. Now we're going to beeline down here. Come on, lads. Strongest foot forwards. And what do we have here? We have a mutant fueling station, which we are, of course, going to destroy. However, we are going to keep that going. And we are going to get our truck to sit on that. Okay. <clears throat> now, we need to be careful because sometimes they do actually come behind us and um, destroy our base. Which is certainly something you need to watch out for. In fact, what I might do... you. Send this guy back. <clears throat> and I'm going to start building a, another one of those. So what do we got here? We've got our droid and 
our saboteurs. So let's advance. Yeah, look at that. Don't know where that sneaky bastard comes from, but irrelevant. So onward, troops, destroy that. And here is their base. Now if you get here early enough, which we should have just done, they're not going to have a lot here. Alrighty. Now they might have a few soldiers. You in there. You in there as well. Why not? Come on, get in there, get in there, you beauty. Now how about you don't actually do that? You kill him. Destroy. Destroy. We have a grape shot cannon up there that we are going to go out of our way to avoid. Wipe him out, please. I love saboteurs. Now you're being a tool bag. There you go. So let's advance these guys. Now this is where our chap's being held. Okay. Now our droid is now max level, which is amazing. I get the feeling something, yeah, something bad has happened. Okay. There we are. That was bad. And that is also bad. Wow. For a ridiculously easy mission, quite a lot of stuff is going wrong. You go in there. You go in there. You go in there. And you go in there. Okay. Really? Go in there, you fool. Oh, I don't know. You don't play this game for a couple of days and everything goes tits up. Never mind. This droid has plenty left in him. We are, however, going to have to replace that uh, power station that we lost. Because we need enough. Get out of there because he will... He's kind of simple. He will kill himself. There we go. Now, we've already won, believe it or not. Because we have destroyed all of their ore trucks. Been playing too much Command and Conquer. There we go. We destroyed all their ore, uh, ore, ore trucks. So, they cannot retaliate. Now, is his health coming back? I'm pretty sure... Um, Vehicle's health doesn't regenerate. However, I might be wrong. Okay. Now, the only reason we're building our base up is because of these. You don't really start off with enough troops to uh, assault it. Which is an ass. So, we're going to destroy that. You can attack that. Why not? Now, how's everything going? Pretty slowly. To be expected, I guess. How much? See, look at how much oil that has in it. Ridiculous amounts. Now, the annoying thing that I find with this game. Say he's got, oh, I don't know. A fair good range on him from, say, obviously there to there. If I tell him to attack it. He will drive right up to it. It's get as close as possible and that's true for any of your units now this is a problem because if you have a large group of units and you tell them to destroy something that's quite small they will obviously charge and get as close to that unit as possible which will lead to friendly fire and it's really annoying when you tell them to destroy a turret and I shall demonstrate demonstrate now what should we build uh, I guess ATVs are going to be the best thing here what I could do is build a uh, science what are they called research lab and um, I could get the flame ATVs which make it a lot easier but they are more expensive see look at that 
he does a lot of damage to himself if he actually hits himself, which is annoying. But here's the kicker here. If I tell him to destroy these turrets, as we can see, if he was a unit that could, say, outrange the turret, he wouldn't sit there at the edge of the... Um, the edge of the unit's range and edge of the turret's range he'll actually go right up to it which um, is really annoying so he would actually put himself in a position where he's being fired upon by all of these turrets which is uh, really silly okay anyway ah in other news my Dreamcast recording equipment has arrived unfortunately the cable that I've uh, spent a lot of money on is absolute shite. See, look, if you can fire from there, mate, sit there and fire from there. There we go. Now, the only problem we're going to have, like I said, is assaulting these. Although that one's got quite a lot of damage already. Oh, we've got a few ATVs there. But that is going to be a tough nut to crack. Because ATVs are pretty weak. I mean, I guess what we could have done is... Um, I was going to say, we could have charged infantry at it, but infantry are very weak against the grape shot cannons. There we go. Uh, we are going to need a lot of these guys. There we go. But that's fine. We have plenty of oil. Let's get him up here. Nice progress, nice progress. Idealistically, I could have another uh, oil def um, power station, but there's really no need. I'm not sure if that would actually speed up this mission, because uh, by the time we've actually saved up for it and built it, we might as well have just got a few more of these. Let's destroy that count. I don't know actually. We might not. That's the other thing you need to be careful with. He will actually charge right up there, um, so he's in range of these. It's really, really bad AI, if you ask me. Or should I say, I don't know whether that will come down to AI or pathfinding. Probably a bit of both. Right. Okay. Come on. Now we are going to... How many have we got? We have 6, 7, 8. So we've got 8. Let's try it with 10. I don't know if 10 is going to be enough. Maybe. There we go. One more. Now, like I say, my Dreamcast cable appears to be a dog egg, which is frustrating. <sighs> it costs, like, I don't know, $25 or whatever it was, and it's a VGA to stereo, well, VGA uh, output. And the thing with it is it looks really nice. Uh, everything's really crisp, really sharp. I've never seen a Dreamcast through VGA, so it's really really interesting in fact it looks better than a PS2 through component now PS2's have very 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 few games that are actually um, we'll get another two have very few games that are 480p whereas the Dreamcast very few games aren't 480p Right, and and the picture looks fantastic, but for instance, with the cable, if see the blue ATVs there, you'd have the blue ATVs, but then you'd have like a blue line going right across the screen. And if you have writing <coughs> as well, you get writing. Say the writing's in the middle of the screen, you'd have if the writing was white, you'd have right and uh, right. I can't even speak. White lines going through it. Ah. I gather it's just a very badly shielded cable. 
and it's not even the money that bothers me because um, <clears throat> I can get that refunded. But what bothered me is it took almost a month to arrive. Okay, there we go. Once they're distracted, pour it on, lads. Pour it on. Okay. No, there you go. Yeah, you can see how weak ATVs are uh, from a damage perspective. If we didn't have that thing, this would be a lot harder. There we go. Victory should almost be ours. Yes. Yeah, alright, we don't need any more of those, though. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Now, let's go down there. He's just chilling, doing fuck all. How he got captured by these guys, I have no idea. Alrighty. Now, at the time of recording this, the only video I have left to do on this game is the final mission. And I'm going to attempt that straight after this. And it does look pretty damn hard, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so let's destroy this. Work that over. So the last few drops of oil out of here that we can. There we go. These things do so much damage, it's crazy. There we go. Now you guys, don't even worry about it. You can go home for tea and medals. Alrighty. Almost there. Pile in. That should be it. Yep, there we go. Alrighty. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Oh, yes, this is the mission where I have the silly voice. Yeah. But anyway, you shall see that next video. I apologise in advance, but I hope you get some kind of entertainment from it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll catch you soon.